Good morning from near Cloudcroft, New Mexico. How are you doing this morning? Well, I'm doing pretty good, thank you. And uh, Romeo, the I have my new puppy now. This is my new puppy, giving you a good morning kiss. That's Romeo. And this is the stinking goat with one ear. And this is Matilda. But anyway, I'm getting to this thing. I don't have everything set up just right yet. But anyway, it was yesterday it was, we had a little hailstorm. I mean, little, it was hail, about as big as the end of this thing right here, a little smaller than that. Yeah, but it was a little loud on the metal roof. But, I mean, it stacked up about this deep, and the temperature went down to like the low 40s in, in a matter of minutes. And it was, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, here's this old Texas boy on July the 22nd or whatever it was, and uh, it was cold, cold, you know what I mean? And so, be that as it may, yeah, that was an interesting afternoon. And then uh, shortly thereafter, I uh, took a little walk around to see the snow because <laughs> it, it, it kind of melted and it looked like snow you know, all around. It was really pretty. Uh, let's get the comments here. We're getting here, guys. Old Rusty's getting here. So, anyway, uh, yeah, this is, uh, you got a, several comments on that. Anyway, hang on just one second. Now, uh, remember that today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow, right now. Right now, just went right on by. And then uh, what else? Uh, never worry about what you can't change. You can see the temperature in here. It's like 60, 58 to 60. Outside, it's an even uh, 50 degrees this morning here where I am near Cloudcroft. And, you know, every morning now is a routine since I've only been here about a week or slightly less. <clears throat> I get up in the mornings and walk out on the patio out here. It's like a 12 by 30 foot covered patio. And uh, yeah, the birds are kind of making their noises and stuff. And it's just so calming, you know, to look out through the forest. And it, it's, it's a, you know, it's funny thing what a couple of years difference has made in me uh, as to appreciating the things around me, you know, and but be that as it may move along, Rusty. Uh, Mary Griffin or Marcy Griffin says, wow, on the hail. <coughs> Roaming Hut says Christmas in July, Rusty. Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, uh, this is iron something. All hail, Rusty. The, the hail man has returned. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? And uh, this is on the EV range anxiety stuff. Just a, I did a short. Ralph says, question, if the mountain was 30 miles downhill, you might be able to drive all the way back to Fort Clark Springs. Just kidding. Well, I have to tell you, it would make a heck of a difference. You know, I'm not, no kidding, because the terrain this way or this way in an electric vehicle makes a lot of difference. I mean, you know, I, I had never seen my car at 391 miles of range. Uh, Ralph P. says, thanks for the ride along. Good luck with selling your rig and your change-ups. Well, you know, que sera, sera. You know, that's the way I look at it. I mean, I'm, I've, I've kind of started moving that direction. If it works out fine, if it doesn't, I'm not concerned about it because, you know, again, que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. And uh, the future's not ours to see. But, you know, I'm, uh, if it didn't, I'm just fine. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Anyway, <clears throat> efficient RVer, you must love that bolt to not park it outside the cover. Collect insur insurance on it like with Sparky. Pocket the money and put your paintless dent repair skills back to work. Guess you couldn't bear seeing it with more dimples than a Titleist. Well, actually, that hail wasn't big enough to dent a car, but thank you. Sheridan Gay, amazing, Rusty. Hail, snow in the summer. It sounds like you're really enjoying this adventure. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, it is, man. It, it, I, I, it, I am enjoying it. I mean, I'm enjoying the variety. You know what I mean? It's just a total change from Capitan, and, and that's, uh, and Texas, of course. Yeah, and I just, uh, it's just, really interesting so far. 
and it, the bed, it, I'm amazed, it's, it, they must have put in a new bed here at some time in this RV. It's still about this thick, you know what I mean? But it's very comfortable, man. I sleep good at night. And last night, I mean, I was up under the comforter, the blankets and everything. And yeah, because inside here, it got down to 54. And uh, yeah, I ran the heater for a little while this morning. Not the uh, RV heater, the propane thing, but the, I've got two electric heaters. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, just a tentative plan for now, if you know, assuming that the place in Capitan doesn't sell for what I want to sell it for, uh, then you know, what I'll do is I'll just when I go back to Capitan to get in the RV to start traveling or do whatever I want to do, I'm not taking anything, or, or I might take a, a few things that would be hard to uh, find, but no, and then, and then I'm just going to make that a totally independent unit leave this just like it is ready to use with all my stuff so I don't have to pack all this crap, you know, clothes and crap and, and bedding. No, we'll just have, we'll just spend an extra $500 or so and get the place here or, I mean, in Capitan, the RV set up perfectly, the place in Fort Clark Springs set up and just when you walk in the door, everything's there. And, that, and I mean, my breakfast stuff and everything, except for the yogurt, of course, but yeah, but anyway, a true rock spirit. What a beautiful place. Looks like fantastic. When I go outside, it looks like I live on Skid Row. <laughs> I've been there, babe. Anyway, that's funny. Uh, Leanne says, the one thing about these ride-alongs, I'm being able to see a lot of New Mexico and not from a freeway. Enjoyed and thanks. Yeah, it, you know, for people from the cities coming out here, it's, it'd be like Disney World, you know. I mean, no... Very few red lights, very little traffic. You know, even, well, now here uh, in the Cloudcroft, the little town area on the weekends, it can get pretty busy. Yeah, and on holidays too, but during the week, it's not much happening. Gail says, what fun. Yeah, it is. It was, it was interesting, man. It was just so, I mean, like right now out there, you know, I've, I, th this window here, I've got it closed because it's right by the road kind of. But there's a big window in the front of the RV that's probably four feet by six feet uh, wide, the big window there. And it, and I'm looking right out over the forest from right here. Oh, it's, that's why I put this chair here so I could have my breakfast looking out over the forest and stuff. It's, it's pretty damn neat, I got to tell you. No kidding. Uh, Patrick Russell says, yeah, yeah, that could have been larger hell, however. I'm sure you have seen larger. Oh, I've seen a lot larger, actually. Uh, but here, see, the, the hail is, we're at such a high elevation, the hail is just starting to form. Because what it does, the winds kind of bounce it back and forth and back and forth, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're kind of at the source here. So it never you never really get that big a hail here. Now, it may happen occasionally, but that's about as big as it gets, and that's fine. Or not bad, anyway. Ken PA or Ken PA, yeah. Curious, if you use the T sound versus CH sound in temperature or mature or amateur, how do you pronounce pasture? I, I don't know, Ken. <laughs> Not worry about it. <clears throat> hey, Rusty, how much do they want for this place? I, I don't know. Uh, Leanne, I sure do like these ride-alongs, and I love going through tunnels in Pennsylvania. They have some really, <coughs> really long, really long ones. Enjoy it and thanks. And you're welcome. Uh, this come at me, person's name. It looks like when one of the elderly residents passes away, they just sell their place with all their items still inside and the cycle just keeps repeating itself. Well, it looks like that, but that's not what's happening. Now, what it is, people live here for a while and then they decide they don't want to live here and they go back home and then, Somebody either here in the area village buys it or, or or it goes up for sale on the dumpster. They put a sign there, for sale sign. But no, they don't have to advertise them on like, you know, realtor.com or any of that crap. No. Desidrio something. Oh, Desidrio Giannis. Well, I was wondering how long it'd take to hail on you again. Nobody like that around rusty well whatever you know it we did hail here yesterday patrick russell no rowdy rooster no not yet <clears throat> and i don't know that i'll bring all that stuff over here i don't know 
think I'll just leave it in the RV. <clears throat> and I have a setup in the uh, place in uh, Fort Clark Springs. Yeah, I do. Karen says, do your ears pop driving down the mountain? Yeah, a little bit up and down because you're going down 4,500, 4,000 4, feet, almost exactly 4,000 feet up and down to Alamogordo from Cloudcroft, New Mexico. Rosemary and Thines or something like that. Did the hail drop the temperature to 32 and start snowing? You could have had, could have Christmas in July. No, I dropped it down to about 42, I think, 40, whatever. It was cool. Slow hiker. Great to see the old stomping grounds. Not sure why I ever left. Cheers, Rusty. <laughs> I don't know either. It's a neat area. <clears throat> Well, you figure the temperature here yesterday when it dropped down to 42, whatever it was, was uh, 63 degrees cooler than parts of Texas and Arizona and places, you know what I mean? And the Mediterranean too, by the way. This is Sue Sued. Rusty, how much electricity do you use going up the mountains? Is it more than the 50 or so that you gain coming down? Yeah, much more, much more. I'm gonna, there's a video today I think coming up on coming up the mountain, and I start take I start at the bottom, and tell you the range that on the deal, and then and when you get to the top, I tell you what the result is, so you'll be able to see it's it, it's a hell of a drop. Patrick Russell, the area from Lake Heron to Chama is so green for this time of year. It was pretty. It looked like they'd had some rain. Uh, Les Bollinger, Bollinger, in Dakota we call them anthills. <laughs> anthills, okay. Uh, Jeffrey. White, this is the land of enchantment. You will never get used to it. That's why we will never leave. It, it, there's a lot of stuff around here, I have to tell you, around, well, this area right here, Alamogordo, Cloudcroft, Ruidoso, Capitan, <coughs> Tularosa, <coughs> Tularosa, and so forth. And I know I clear my throat every night. That doesn't mean anything. It's it's just old timers. And, and actually, it's just early in the morning. You know, I mean, this is like, six o'clock or whatever it is, six thirty when I'm starting this. And anyway, we'll do a few more and we'll end the video. Because it is slower uploading using visible. Not that much, but it takes about an hour. So, you know, in order to get it up in a reasonable time, I'll, I'll let it try to finish it with fifteen minute total. Anyway, uh, my Venus healer covers rule. No kidding. The cover over the R V in the car, muy bueno. Got one in Capitan and Texas. Thank you. This is Robert P. E Eventful day, Rusty, 103 in Florida at 10 p.m. <laughs> and here it was probably 55. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Geezer, RV Living with the Geezer, check his channel out. Rusty, actually, there are there there is a herd of elk between Fort Davis and Alpine. Alpine. A friend hit one last year. Uh, glad you're considering Alamogordo. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, I, I am and I'm not. You know, I mean, I'm not. I mean, as far as keeping the EV, uh, I'll probably will, and I'll just work it out because there's several chargers between here and my home base in Texas, and I'll just have to figure it out because I don't want to get rid of it. I really like that car. It's quiet, the right size, and, you know, three cents a mile. What the hell is that, you know? Michael Tyree, good video, Rusty, beautiful country. Uh, Desert Rat Gardener, Rust, Rusty, regarding living in Alamogordo during winter. <clears throat> I think some tiny homes are for sale in a tiny home village on Florida near Indian Wells, carport included. Yeah, I went by there yesterday and looked at three of them. And uh, they're 80000 85000 in that range. And they do have a carport and a little storeroom. But it's okay. It's a nice little community. I liked it, but I don't know that I'm going to live there yet. We'll see. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New or excuse me, wrong, cloud, near Cloudcroft, New Mexico, on a cool morning, 50 degrees, uh, what can I say? Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, <laughs> use the Amazon link <clears throat> in the description of all my videos. But uh, yeah, do it if you want to fool with it. And then drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And then uh, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. And then 
Stretch. Stretch your hands, too. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then... Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you have ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next video, which I think is up the mountain in the EV. Okay? Adios, amigos. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your life, man. It's yours. It's the only one. And, it, and remember that. It's yours. Adios. Bye-bye.